like today, there's only one thing to do. Close your eyes, click your Nikes three times. Take me back, weather gods. Take me back to a hot, steamy, sweltery afternoon in Queens at one of my favorite places on earth, City Field. It's the dog days of summer, it's brutally hot outside, and I've got the afternoon off. The Mets are the team most dear to my heart. The first question, what to wear? You know, I could just go with another Mets t-shirt, one of the 1,000 that I have, but since there's so few opportunities to actually wear the throwback jerseys, I gotta rock one today. Plus, my girlfriend's not around, meaning she can't tell me I need to take that off. We go with Gooden. Let's roll. <laughs> ourselves a beer. You don't have to sit in your seats and wait for the beer guy to come or go back and keep fetching them. You just hang out here in center field, drink as much as you want, and just watch a little bit of the game from the bridge. It's perfect for Mets baseball because you don't actually have to watch a lot of baseball. Woo! That guy knows what I'm talking about. Reporting live here from the gluten-free and organic stand at City Field. Unfortunately, nobody's here. It's the middle of the game. There's a line, probably about 700 people long for Shake Shack. I mean, honestly, I feel like there should be tumbleweeds just blowing by right now. Pumping gas for prizes. Because nothing's ever been as fun as pumping gas. Shocking, there's not more fans lining up for that wonderful attraction. Hey, pump your own gas. It's amazing. Better than New Jersey. Hernandez burger. It's a Hawaiian sesame bun and a little bonus comes with the Tootsie Roll Pop. Also some jalapenos 
mixed in. It's a good burger. It's a good burger. Not bad burger. Mm. This is so good. It's the best food here at City Field. It's my go-to move. It's got a little bit of sweet with the bun. The guacamole gives it some moisture. The burger, huge patty, which is awesome. You got the bacon in there as well, gives a little kick. You throw the jalapenos in, a little spice. Oh, it's a great meal at the ballpark. And a pretty decent price, $12.50. Mm. The ballpark itself is beautiful. The Mets really did a great job with this place. And really, the most glorious part of it, the most attractive scene you have here at Tiddy Field, is this view of the chop shops. Other ballparks are surrounded by high-end restaurants, shopping districts, bars. Nah. City Field, man, come out, watch a baseball game, have stolen hubcaps put on your car. Or take it off your car. So good. Time to finally go to our seat. We've done everything else besides watch the game at this point. I'm saving this for the train ride home. So these seats are great. The game itself is terrible. Right now the Mets trail. Oh yeah, but then they fall away. Nine nothing. Luckily I'm not sweating. A really heavy throwback. Oh wait, I'm drenched. The problem is that it's camp chain today. Welcome to the rest of your lives as Mets fans kids. Luckily when you come out to City Field, the food is awesome. The drink is awesome. The atmosphere usually is pretty good as long as the best don't get destroyed. It's time to head out. But not before a nightcap beer. So what we're going to do is go down to McFadden's, which is the bar underneath City Field. together for life. Meet the Mets, meet the Mets, guaranteed to have the time of your life. Sometimes I sing this in my sleep, it just pops into my head. If you're like me and living in a winter dystopia, where there's no bright, no warmth, no sun anywhere on the horizon. I'll try to relieve you of that misery each and every episode. Until next time, remember, if the weather you're around is getting you down and depressed, there's a quick solution. Just envision yourself sweating through a polyester blend and gorging on unhealthy sodium-filled foods. A frozen amendo. Out.